गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू एस एस टी क्लास ऑफ सिक्स चिल्ड्रेन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैड कम्प्लीटेड द रिविजन ऑफ द चैप्टर सिविक्स दैट इज द डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट ओके चिल्ड्रेन एंड यू नो दैट इज इट इज योर पेन पेपर टेस्ट चैप्टर एंड इट इज गोइंग टू कम इन योर पेरोडिक टेस्ट एग्जामिनेशन ओके एंड आई होप दैट एवरीबडी हैव रिवाइज दैट चैप्टर वेरी वेल नाउ today we will proceed to our next pen paper chapter that is chapter number 7 of geography and name of the chapter is india location political and physical divisions okay children so in this chapter what we have studied earlier that what is the location of india how many physical and political divisions of india is there okay so we will study about it in detail children as we all know that india is the seventh largest country in the world it is the seventh largest country in the world and in the terms of population it is the second largest country means most populated country in the world after the china it has varied geographical features climatic conditions soil and natural vegetation okay so in this chapter we will study about the various relief features various climatic conditions and the various physical and political divisions of india okay india is located in the southern part of asia where india is located yes it is located in the southern part of asia it is located in the asia continent okay it lies entirely in the northern and eastern hemispheres Nepal, China, Afghanistan lies in the north, Myanmar and Bangladesh in the east, Pakistan lies in the west and Sri Lanka in the south, separated by a narrow stretch of water, the Pak Strait and the Gulf of Mannar. Okay? So India lies in the southern part of Asia and it has seven neighboring countries. Kaun kaun se neighboring countries hai? Pakistan, Bangladesh, चाइना भूटान अफगानिस्तान म्यानमार ओके सो दीज आर दैवन नेबरिंग कंट्रीज ऑफ द इंडिया ओके एंड द अरेबियन सी लाइज इन द वेस्ट द बे ऑफ बेंगाल लाइज इन द ईस्ट एंड द इंडियन ओशियन टू द साउथ सो इंडियन ओशियन इज द ओनली ओशियन विच इज नेम्ड आफ्टर अ कंट्री हैंस the southern part of india is peninsula so it is surrounded by water from all the sides that's why it is pen peninsula from the southern part okay children now if we talk about the political divisions of india ab ye to ho gaya location now if we talk about the political divisions of india so india uh, may kitne states hain yes there are 28 states and 8 union territories previously there were 29 states and 7 union territories but now at present there are 28 states and 8 union territories ek state kam ho gaya that is jammu and kashmir ab wo kya ho gaya union territory ho gaya hai right okay children and agar hum state ki baat kare so rajasthan is the largest state okay in terms of area and up is the most populated state and which is the smallest state yes goa is the smallest state okay so rajasthan is the largest state and goa is the smallest state the southernmost point of india is indira point jo southernmost point hai tip kehte hain chhor kehte hain jisko wo hai indira point okay in the andaman and nicobar islands and the southernmost point of the indian mainland aur agar hum main indian mainland ki baat kare that is kanya kumari ya cape camorin okay now agar hum political map india ka dekhe to we will see that tropic of cancer that is 23 and 30 degree north passes almost through the middle of the india bisecting the states of gujarat rajasthan madhya pradesh chatisgarh jharkhand वेस्ट बंगाल त्रिपुरा एंड मिजोरम ओके चिल्ड्रेन सो अगर हम इंडिया के पॉलिटिकल डिविजन की बात करें सो इंडिया इज पॉलिटिकली डिवाइडेड इन टू ट्वेंटी एट स्टेट एंड एट यूनियन टेरिटरीज एंड चिल्ड्रेन यू शुड नो ऑल द नेम्स ऑफ द स्टेट्स एंड देर कैपिटल्स ओके 
and union territories as well. Now we will proceed to the physical divisions of India. Okay. Physical division means what? Physical means ऐसे divisions जिन्हें हम externally देख के identify कर सकते हैं। अगर हम political की बात करेंगे, so that are related to the boundary, okay? But अगर हम political की बात करेंगे, तो that is about states, boundaries, capitals, okay? But if we talk about the physical divisions, it is about this the external physical features, relief features जो कि हम देख के बता सकते हैं So, there are five physical divisions of India It is divided into five main physical divisions The first one is the northern mountains that is the Himalayas Then the second one is the northern plains Okay Then the third one is the great Indian peninsular plateau Then the fourth one is the great Indian desert And the fifth one is the coastal plains. So our physical div divisions are divided into five categories. First one is the northern mountains. Second one is the peninsular plateau. Third one is the northern plains. Fourth one is the great Indian desert. And the fifth one is the coastal plains. Okay. So if we talk northern mountains, ke baat kare, so they act as a barrier and protect the cold winds coming from the other side ठीक है ये protect करते हैं and these are the Himalayas okay then second one is northern plains northern plains are found in the northern region and are very fertile they are highly developed areas जहाँ पे roadways है construction of buildings है everything is present because of Indo Gangetic plains तो जितनी भी rivers हैं वो सारा कुछ अपना बहा के ले आती है जिससे कि जो साइड का एरिया है एलुवियल डिपॉजिट हो जाता है जिससे कि वो बहुत ही ज़्यादा फर्टाइल हो जाती है एंड दिस एरिया इज वेरी गुड फॉर ग्रोइंग क्रॉप्स ओके एंड एस कंपेयर्ड टू द प्लेट्यूज और द कोस्टल रीजन दिस एरिया इज डेंसली पॉपुलेटेड बिकॉज़ ऑल द फैसिलिटीज आर अवेलेबल हियर क्योंकि यहाँ सारी फैसिलिटीज अवेलेबल है ओके देन द थर्ड वन इज द ग्रेट इंडियन पेनिनसुलर प्लेट्यू व्हाट इज प्लेट्यू Plateau is a table land. ठीक है? ये थोड़ा सा plain से उठा हुआ area region होता है. It is very good in mineral deposits. यहाँ पे बहुत सारे mineral deposits और ores पाए जाते हैं. That is very good for mining also. This area is very good for mining also. Okay? And the next one is the Great Indian Desert, जो कि थार desert है. Now, what is desert, children? Yes, desert is a large land. Covered with sand and there is very less vegetation and very less rainfall. तो राजस्थान जो है वो थार डेजर्ट में कुछ पार्ट्स गुजरात के हैं जो कि थार डेजर्ट में आते हैं, okay? And these are very sparsely populated, very thinly populated because not of the favorable climate. यहाँ पे favorable climate नहीं है, सारी चीजें facilities available नहीं है. And the last one is the coastal plains means ऐसे plains जो कि समुद्र के किनारे near the coast ठीक है so the coastal plains जैसे कि अगर हम महाराष्ट्र की बात करें गुजरात की बात करें okay so the area having the coastal plains are found in India so अगर if we talk about the physical divisions of India so it is divided into five categories the first one is the northern mountains, second one is the northern plains, third one is the great Indian peninsular plateau, fourth one is the great Indian desert and fifth one is the coastal plains. So children, uh, we have talked about the location of India, we have talked about the political divisions of India and we have talked about the physical divisions of India. So we can say that India is a land of various diversity and climatic features, leaf features, natural vegetation and wildlife. Lots of uh, changes are found in different different areas. So children, that's all for today. I have explained the chapter in a short and I hope that you have understood it very well. So children, please go through the chapter, learn all the key terms of the chapter and write it as well so that you can uh, learn it pro more properly then 
learn all the exercises of the chapter and the question answers of the chapter okay children so your today's homework is question number 1 where is the great indian desert situated question number 2 is name the five main physical divisions of the indian subcontinent and question number 3 is name and describe the three distinct ranges of the himalayas question number 4 is name the three river basins of the northern plains and question number 5 is how plateaus are important for us so children these five question answers you have to note down in your homework copy in a neat and clean handwriting okay and children please study uh, make notes and complete your work because from next month in the first week of jan you are going to have your periodic test examination okay children so that's all for today thank you class take care of yourself